This is the best way I found to sync a text file or transcript to video or audio for subtitles. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, the tool we're going to be using is Descript and uh, you can download it from the link in the description below and follow along. So once you sign up, you're going to uh, get to this particular page. So my assumption is you have your video or audio and the transcript that you want to sync into SRT or VTT subtitles. Now, I'll click on new project. Let's say video. And I have the files that I want to sync right here. So the audio and the transcript. Now, instead of adding it right here, I'll click on project and then drag and drop the audio file right there. So I'll just drag this file. And once it's there, it's going to upload and then once it's done, we're not going to use the automatic transcription feature in the script. Now, the reason for this is, let's assume you already have your transcript written out by a transcriber and you've already uh, taken out any wrong issues or arms and has and so on and so forth. So we have it ready. Our file is optimizing. So you can just give it a couple of seconds to finish the optimization and then uh, this particular uploading. So everything is done. In the script, there's an option called import transcript, which is a really handy feature. So I'll just click on these three uh, dots right here and then click on import transcript. Once I do that, I'll come to this particular transcript that we have right here and then control C to copy and then control V to paste. So once I do that, you'll see a transcript here and there's nothing major that you can do right inside here. But all we want to do is sync for now, the sync button uh, that we've just seen a couple of seconds ago is not visible. But if I press on the tab key, you're going to see the cancel and the sync button. And I think this is a bug that is uh, in uh, sub in the script right now. I hope they'll fix it in future uh, updates and so on and so forth. So I'll click on sync and you can already see the text is right here. So I'll, I'll just click on sync. And once I do, uh, the importation of the transcript is going to begin. And once that particular importation begins, then the synchronization process of the transcript to the audio is also going to begin. So the download is complete. Let's wait and see what we get. It's importing transcription and then the title of uh, that particular transcript. So if I show timeline right now, I do have this. Let's say we go to new. Um, OK insert into script. So once I insert in that into script, if I play this, can you edit a PDF file in Canva? The simple answer, you can see that it is already in sync. So those are the few steps that we wanted to do. Import our transcript without using the transcription feature because we already have a transcript and you can see that it is in sync. Now, the next option is to export our transcript more or less now convert that particular text file to, or transcript into SRT subtitles of VTT. So I'm just going to go to publish and then click on export subtitles. And from here, there are two formats you can export to SRT or VTT. So you can choose to show speakers if you had multiple speakers in your transcript or choose the maximum characters per line. I like 37 and the maximum lines per card. And these are the number of subtitle lines that you get to see. Two is the sweet spot. One or two will do. If you go to three, that is going to uh, decrease the readability of your subtitles. So if you're satisfied, just click on export and I'll do that. And then choose the folder where I want to save uh, my SRT subtitle. It's exported. I can also choose VTT and then click on export same folder and if we navigate to the folder let's click on open you can see our subtitle right here this is a VTT just double click on it you can see it begins with web VTT note this file was generated by descript.com so that's really awesome just to mention but when you're creating a file you can always remove this just to show that note. But remember, you have to leave the web VTT as it is because that's uh, just the way web VTT is. And then you can save that. 
and then as for the SRT, this is what it looks like. They're almost identical uh, to, uh, that is the SRT files and WebVTT are identical, but they're just slight uh, minute differences. If I actually put them side to side, you'll be able to notice just some slight differences. So the, the, for, the web, for the VTT, there is WebVTT, and then there are no numbers, and then instead of these commas here, it's a full stop, and so on and so forth. Just super simple uh, search, uh, differences right here and there. But simply put, this is the best way you can sync a text file or transcript to your video or audio to create subtitles. Super, super fast, super handy using Descript. I hope this video is of value to you. Thank you so much for watching.